brother. Good to see you again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. Do you ever forget your name, mister? Yep. You got some kind of problem with me? I got me sweating buttons. down. Giddy up now. Oh, come on. Getting quick, folks, before I eat all these chops myself. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give them one of these ribs, just giddy up, you girl. Morning. Thank you. Morning, mister. Let's go! I got places to be! Good morning, mister. No meal is complete if it don't got meat. The madhouse is the next town over. Nice day, ain't it? Morning.
Big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! Stop! Or I don't start move. shooting. Let's get those hands up nice and high. <laughs> Works every time. You, mister, excuse me. You must either be a clown or a crank. Ain't nothing to worry about. Mister? Howdy. Morning, dude. Good morning, sir. How was everything with you? I tell you, life ain't easy. Hello, mister. Hello. Hey there. Hello. Ah, monsieur, welcome. Watch where you keep that. Why not? A very fine choice. Exceedingly fine.
<coughs> Hello, ma'am. Hey. Hello there. Hola. Hey there, kitty. Shoot, whiskers. Partner. Hey there. Hello, ma'am. Hello there. Hello, mister. You remind me of a feller I used to know. Hello. Hey. Hey there. Hey, mister. Oh, get out of here! Get up. Consider myself pure. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most Hello. disgusting, what? revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature? Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need you, to be pure. Hello, sir. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? No, you pathetic moron. Moron? These are facts. I bet you imagine a world where your grandchildren are subservient to monkeys. You're pathetic. Watch yourself. Oh, pardon me, sir. Oh, Lordy. Son of a bitch. Hey, he just picked your pocket. Go. go Get back here. I can't believe what I just said. Hold it, or I shoot. I think you have me mistaken, sir. I cannot believe it. Excuse me. Don't move it. Goddamn muscle. Give me the money. Now, wagon, get away from me. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here. Oh, hell no. Sweet Jesus. <sighs> It'll never happen again. That, I swear. See? That wasn't so hard, uh -huh. was it? That's all I took, I swear. Don't kill me. Oh. 
holding that gun there. Hey there! Hey, friend. Hello. Aha! Ready to do some more shopping? Let me see what's available. If you're heading anywhere near the slums, you should take a lot of bullets with you. Hmm. We sell a lot of that particular item. And that should be good. Hey, mister. Hi there. Come on in. Got an idea of what you want? Thank you. Yeah, that looks good.
Come on, girl. You do. Okay, my girl.
You're a chump, Arden. What are you doing this for, huh? <laughs> Welcome back, mister. Hello again. All right, take a look. Oh, you got something for me? Yep. Thank you. Really.
Man, you all right? Ma'am? You okay, ma'am? Talk to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, oh. oh shit! Creepy bastards! You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there.
scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, the man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs>
Easy. Brave soul walking around looking like that. I said hello, tough guy. Now I reckon one hello is all you're good for, boy. Don't you look at me. Let's you see. You got about any that. idea?
Oh, Jesus, get the hell out! Law's gonna deal with this!
Yep.
Hey, mister. Are you back for more hell raising? I ain't looking for trouble, I assure you. Hmm. But keep talking like that and Let's I will do be, this. okay? Who do you think you... Go to hell. Is that all you got? Come on, girl. Holy hell, that there's a mighty fine ride. So? I've heard worse from better men. Come on, get out of here! think you're going oh you don't know who you missing ah, then. do you want to die hmm? do you you what keep are you your doing? mouth shut <clears throat> that's it next time will be your last time you hear me <clears throat> you're a dead man <clears throat> Temper. You forget what you saw right now. What do you want from me? I won't ask you again. I know how to keep my mouth shut. Go on, and remember how to word it. Yes. Arthur? 
Hey, Uncle. Whiskey kind of morning. <laughs> a drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. I worry you've pickled yourself so good you'll live forever. Yeah, yeah. Heard it all before. Long time ago. He died. The best man I ever knew. And I believe he's in heaven. I never knew that. I... Excuse me, please. Oh, Arthur, I left something for you by your tent. A little thank you for that seasoning you brought me. Okay, thank you. Susan! Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real well. Yeah, that's okay. I know what you're gonna say. But sorry for boring you. Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Won't take long. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but I save your life every day. Hey, I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Where's the spot? Uh, it's not much further. <laughs> this is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Hey, be careful. I don't want to hook you, Arthur. Karen. You get many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Karen Vanderlyn is gonna stick. There you go.
Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promise loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs hey, to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. No, no, this shit ain't right. Hey, wait up! I'm ready when you are. You all right, girl? I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh... Just think now, you'll never be alone again.
What's wrong? That, that big fish didn't scare you off, did it? You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. He's putting up one hell of a fight. Nice catch. But uh, that's not the big one we saw. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on. I'll see you later. Stop that. You stop that right now. 
Leave it now, Archer. Archer, that's enough. We need to talk to you. Hey, Arthur. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. <gasps> How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but the hook is wrong. You can't help by leaving me.
need a word with you, Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay. Let's move out.
son of a bitch deserves a noose. Okay, let's move out. Yes. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. What you were saying. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Follow me, fellas. Who you looking at, idiot? Hey, ain't no reason to talk like that. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Oh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. Now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Just 
disgrace to your sex, madam. Who are you? Are we doing this, Morgan? What are you playing at? Let's go. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got them real down. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nope! Ooh! Don't worry up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, you think we're here? Come on! Come on! Open that goddamn vault! Open it! Playing 
Damn, let's go. Come on, let's get in there. Forget him. You good? This is a goddamn robbery. Let's go. Nobody move. Okay, we're going. Don't you 
No, hold on. Wait till she's gone real dead. Get your goddamn right. hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody! Before they blow, oh. the law will be all over us. <gasps> now you shut the hell up and be still. Who's got the vault? Cause it ain't me. Where are you going? What's wrong? Let's get this done. Deal with the safes. Come on.
Doing this, Morgan? What are you playing at? Let's go. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn free. Nobody move! She's gotten real damn. Get your goddamn right, hands up! Go. This is a goddamn free! Nobody move!
Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Are you? Darn like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right. hands Go. up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you!
Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Madam. Wait till Ooh, she's got him real dead. Shine like you don't know me. I'll duck up here. Not so goddamn stuck up lies now.
We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is Downs. Yep. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Switching to the other side? <laughs> 
How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you. Can't believe the domino survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <sighs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Hey Hi, Tilly. Evening, Arthur. What? Are you here to arrest me? Hi, Karen. Hmm, I don't know. Let's try that again. I heard you the first time. Come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Ah. Uh, that's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Uh -huh. What did you call him? Ah, Ham Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, 
Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. Listen, uh, Dutch, <clears throat> can I talk to you a minute? What is it? I think you misunderstood me earlier. Not a I bad ain't life trying for to rob you. You know me How's better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. <sighs> I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace, and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. I'm... Um, I'll think about it. Thank you. You're... You don't make a convincing law, I'll man. do whatever you say. Always. What are you trying to pull here? Right, you bar. You boys mind if I sit down a while?
been a tough few weeks. I know I've been kind of mad with you all. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I... I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm... I guess I'm struggling to just find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch, same as Jose. You don't want to die. Lately? But if I have to, I will. So, forgive me, all of you. Howdy, fellas. Hey there. Pearson. Good evening. Hello. Come on. Give me that again. Why are you being strange? Hey there, girl. Sir, take a look. Any questions? Feel free not to ask. I've been dreaming of hiring like this since I was a boy. How's Damn your friend getting on with those new clothes? Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion. <laughs>
going up again. Uh-huh. Yep. And going. Okay then, girl. Hello. This will knock you out cold. I trust nobody's missing this. Okay, mister? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Uh, you need to suck the venom out. Okay. I have an idea. Not a word to anyone, dummy. I owe you one, mister.
from this shop, no way. I don't want you lingering, okay? You are very cautious. Can I help you make up your mind? Okay, girl. Just wait a second, girl. Maybe. Let's see if anything's biting. Anything Biden, I wonder.
Easy does it. Oh, easy. Come on, girl.
Howdy. Hey, sir. There ain't been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horse sense. We gonna bushwhack a proper convoy. Still don't look quite right. Poor Hicks ain't got spotted. Now, what you think? It ain't been this slow in a long time. You want a fitting? Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the... last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no don't be shy. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. You're done here. Move along. Was on my way anyway. Thank you very much. No one got manners no more. Not even church folk. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Please watch the gate, won't you? Hello there, sir. Churchyard's closed. Get out. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this. Uh... You want a fitting? When you.
Okay, my girl. Picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh. Well, uh. Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Don't leave me now. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Get out of here, kids. Move. Come on. You're done here. Move along. Was on my way anyway. Thank you very much. No one got manners no more. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this. Uh... Hello there, sir. Churchyard's closed. Get out. Oh, my mind. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hey, partner, hit fire. Hey, right. All right, baby. Right there. When Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... 
Stay close to me now. Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing Church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Don't leave me now. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. I said stay close. Follow me, girl. Okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them all? And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt no Get more. out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You mean You're me? done here. Move along. I was on my way anyway. Thank you very much. No one got manners no more. Not even church folk. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... This exhumation. Churchyard's closed. Get out. Oh, my mom. I guess I'll come back later then. Quick as you can. Them is born to it. There's everyone else. Uh huh. That. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You can't tell it. Uh -huh. what, what'd you leave the gate for? Get back over there. No. The hell is he doing? It's seen me. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this. Uh... You want to fit in? Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. 
Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, I said stay close. Come on, girl. Follow me. Oh, well, you'll see. Don't leave me now. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. Stay close to me now. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. I, I ain't doing this myself. Come back. the first to put his hand in the collection box and you won't be the last rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began Hey, mister. Howdy. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. I 
There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we should. Get down here. Move along. I was on my way anyway. Thank you very much. No one got manners no more. Not even church folk. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Exhumation. sir churchyard's close get out <laughs> my my i guess i'll come back later then quick as you can get back to the gate or we're done I, I can't get caught like this. Get back there! Quick! Please quit. I need you on the gate. Born to it. There's everyone else. Uh-huh, that's how it is. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. The hell is he doing? We're caught. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation.
You want to fit in? When use. Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, don't leave me now. <sighs> well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing Church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Okay, you head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them all, and I'll wait right around here. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance. You're done here. Move along. I was on my way anyway. Thank you very much. No one got manners no more. Not even church folk. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, exhumation. Yards closed. Get out. Oh, my, my. I guess I'll come back later then. Quick as you can. Things was done on merit. You and me'd be running things. 
Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Get the hell out of this churchyard! Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard! Uh, I'm gonna beat you! Uh, you uh, gonna get it! Uh, This hole's dug. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Quick, take it before somebody sees us. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than, than clear what I, what I owe you. Hi, uh, folks. Hey, sweetie. Hello there, hey, mister. How do you do, sir? Hey there, partner. Howdy, partner.